Welcome to the project demonstration of smart mirror for using Raspberry Pi for environmental and health parameters monitoring system. So here total 8 parameters we are continuously monitoring and that will be displayed on this mirror screen along with date and time. So here the parameters like first of all coming to the environmental parameters we are using uh, BMP180 this one is the BMP180 which will provide us pressure and altitude of the environmental and next humidity and temperature from this DHT11 these four parameters will be displayed and the next coming to the health parameters whenever the ultrasonic sensor detect the person whenever the person is standing in front of that then it will scan the heartbeat and temporary uh, SPO2 from this max 30100 sensor and temperature from this thermos, uh, thermistor sensor and the next respiration rate from this uh, mic condenser sensor total four health parameters are displayed on the screen whenever the ultrasonic sensor will trigger the raspberry pi so we are using totally three two controllers and one processor so one controller to read the temperature and the heart rate spo2 the output of this controller is atmega 328p controller is a serial input to the atmega uh, arduino uno board and this will read the data of DST11 along with BMP180 and it will arrange the 8 parameters and uh, that will is a serial input to the Raspberry Pi as it is uh, doesn't consist of uh, in inbuilt analog to digital converter that's why we are using these two uh, for the analog to serial converter and the serial data is input to the receiving pin of our Raspberry Pi 3 B plus and the output is directly uh, to the uh, screen through the HDMI and uh, ultrasonic sensor interface to the Raspberry Pi directly and this is a switch to start the process coming to the interfacing connections we have interfaced the max 301008 A4 A5 to this pin and A0 for the temperature sensor and DST11 at the pin number 10 and A4 A5 for this BMP180 for the UNO board and uh, the serial data the transmitting data is input to the receiving pin and ultrasonic sensor interface at the pin number uh, 23 and 24 and there is a LED indication uh, interface to the pin number 18 and switch for the pin number 4 and a buzzer at pin number 12 of our Uniboard. So these are the input and output connections for the whole system. So let us see demonstration before switch on the kit. So initially we need to enable the hotspot in your phone. Change the hotspot name to project 5913 and password should be 12345678 and uh, band should be 2.4 gigahertz. So it should enable the hotspot along with data and now on the power supply. This is the power supply for the Raspberry Pi and this is for the screen. So on the two power supplies and wait till the system log into the operating system. So now the operating system is loading and successful loading operating system we can see the desktop. So now you can see the device is connected to your mobile phone. So Raspberry Pi is connected. So if you want to change this Wi-Fi name to another hotspot, so just connect that and you can change it here. So as of now we are connected to the project Final uh, Final One Three. If you want to change, you can search for a nearby hotspot and you can connect to that by entering the password to that. So click on OK and now so this is the total project code and this is the our script to be executed just click on that and you can enter from the keyboard so now you can use execute in terminal for safety purpose so now you can see that now you can see the light is blinking very fast okay so when you just push the switch press and push the uh, pushing the switch the light will be off and on the screen we can see the the system will load the main GUI right now we are getting the time and after seven seconds you'll get the data so if you're not getting data just use alt and tap see I can select the here so if you're getting any error over here just you can enter control C so it close that and uh, enter it again executing terminal right okay same here the process is sure. process is same we need to press the switch and uh, wait over here
So just Alt tap. Let us wait here till the screen shows the reading the messages from the Uno board. Right. So we got the receive the message a data. Right. So that will be appear over here. So whenever the like a person is detected nearby this mirror, then health parameters also monitored over here. Right. So you can see the we got the health parameters. So on successful reading of this eight messages, you can just Alt tap. So now only the date and time uh, parameters along with the first one is the yeah this one is the first one is the humidity in percentage and temperature in degree centigrade and pressure and the meters is nothing but altitude and first one is BPM this is heart rate and uh, SPO2 percentage and degree Fahrenheit body temperature and the breaths so now input to the sensor so like this is the one is place the finger in the both sensor temperature and heart rate so the data uploading will be done for every seven seconds of duration so the time was read from the mobile phone data hotspot and data only Right, so the main thing is if you place a finger on the sensor and if you are, the data is not uploaded then you should check that the ultrasonic sensor is not detecting you so then you should be there uh, below the one feet then only the system will capture the readings see now there's a finger so that will be uploaded over here so if you move the finger on the sensor then the data will be fluctuates and it will provide us the malfunctions and then the system will on the buzzer so coming to the buzzer abnormalities so we said the heart rate uh, is 95 uh, beats per minute when it's above that then the system will provide us the buzzer and the next temperature is uh, 98 uh, degree Fahrenheit and SPO2 is if it is below 94 percentage then you will get the uh, audible alerts as well as for the respirations 24 so 24 is a minimum and above the 24 then the system will provide us the audible alerts now let us see the respirations the respiration so main thing is we should stand in front of this ultrasonic sensor For respiration, we should mount the mouth sensor on the, your uh, like mouth and place the finger on the sensor. Right. So we're getting the heart rate, temperature and uh, beat per minute so like this continuously will be done so if anything goes wrong if you are not getting any data on this uh, screen just alt tap so there you can see that if you see any error instead of this continuous message reading just control C already selected over there just uh, enter and enter and after that so light blinks press the switch wait till the GI displayed once the GI displayed then you can again on can alt tap you can see this screen right so if you see the message read then automatically the data is uploading over here so if the ultrasonic detects then automatically health parameters will be coming for every 10 uh, 7 to 10 seconds of duration right